66 here. I mean, um, do you say here the here? Hey, and you know what's really annoying? I can't figure out how to make OBS only record this specific segment. Or is it doing that? I don't know. Let's make this like legit. Why is it like it, it feels not long enough? Whatever. I like to play like this. It makes it easier to micro. But I guess I'll have to play like this, which kind of sucks. So I have to play on full screen mode. This is much easier to micro on normal mode. And here we go. So it's going to give me. Okay, 40 medallions. That's decent. That's uh, useful. Yeah, it's pretty useful. So first of all, we need to buy some monkey farmers. Because, you know, having a little bit is good. What? It? Plus 6 hero bonus? Point one zero hero bonus? I have no idea. Is it like bonus price, I guess? I don't know. Okay, so let's buy a bunch of monkey farmers. I wish there was an easier way to do this. Like, I would just want to buy a ton of monkey farmers. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, these are money, so that's sad. We can't buy too much with medallions, except farmers, which are the most useful. And I guess we're going to play some regular battles. Let's see if there's any cool clubs. Uh, not really. Do I want to play BFB? No, I, I'm just not good enough. I have to, I can't play BFB unless I'm on like small screen mode. And today we're going to rush round 13. This is the rush round 13 strategy. And it probably work so um, I might go a little bit mix eco no fuck fuck no fuck fuck late game holy shit no you have to bring it on and that's what you have to do bring it on no late game no late game how do you say no late game how the fuck do you say no late game no late game no late game. What, what are you? Is he going randomize and he doesn't know because he's off or something? Holy shit! No late game, mate. No late game. And I'm just gonna put my mic over here right now. Oh holy shit! This guy's a ninja user. You know what we do to ninja users, right, guys? We torture them by using um eco, by using blue eco, because that's what eco means. Wait, oh god, okay. Farms is called farms, okay? Only blue eco is considered eco. And I'm gonna send a few reds here because I'm fully confident in my fuck. Fuck! Fuck! I am going to face farm that silly mistake. I, I, I accidentally upgraded. That's sad. Okay, you wanna destroy them? You wanna destroy? Yeah, bring it on, boy. Destroy you. I'm gonna rape your ass off with my OP strategy. Oh, fuck you. This is usually against pink, so it doesn't work against blues as well. Yeah. Oh, no ass. I can't even, like, do any sort of real mini co. No, so fuck. Fuck your ass. You're so bad. You're so bad, you're anti-stalling. Don't anti-stall, guys. Anti-stalling is bad for you. And just maximize your economy, okay? Maximize it. Hashtag blaze it. Maximization. Okay? Just send until you can no longer send. Even if you just send the red, that's actually valuable. And I wanna freaking eco you until you're fucking Dead. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna mad farm now because I'm going to farm. And this guy's being annoying with his eco trap. Like, I hate this. Why are you ecoing? That's not how you eco trap. Right? You still use like dart and stuff, even if you're going eco. NG is okay. Like, there's a lot. There's towers you can use for eco. But, like, they're just not. I, I, I'm not. My monkey farmer positioning is no shit. It's ass, man. My monkey farmer positioning is actually ass. And so is that third position. I can't place one there without it being shitty. 
Okay. Fuck. Uh, monkey Monster, just rape this guy, okay? I need to rape him. I need to rape him. I could round a rush, but I mean, like, this is not a servant. Is it? You're just not really a server with a round eight rush? And oh yeah, this is not like a new war match. This guy's a new. They use his ninja as a solid tower. And we'll send them lead and uh, blaze it, right? Hashtag blaze it, guys. Remember, you have to send these guys two sets of lead. And they new, and they take like 10 seconds to buy something to defend that. You have to sell to be I mean, like, are you kidding me? You have to sell to get a flash mob. And, and uh, juicy, juicy. I need to make sure he doesn't rush me here, right? And I'm gonna tease a rush this guy. You really don't need to tease him, but like, why not? Just send a teaser rush. Make his flash mob mess himself up. He has no money. He has no money. He had the energy, and he's still dead. He's still dead. See how. He, he, you know you're facing a pro when they build two tax sprayers. When they build. Like two zero tax instead of tax spray. I said one ta tax sprayer. You know they're a noob when they do that. <laughs> he thinks I'm doing well, or doesn't he? Yeah, I, I did actual shit. And I was watching Super John Bobbo's video on card battles with the uh, the chipper, and he's like, oh, but the metal right now is to just save up until you can send an Arctic wind. What? The Arctic Wind Rush is not that good. It's viable. I, I, I could even find a place for it in my deck, but then, yeah, I just have a broken deck. But you yeah, have such a good deck, but... Yeah, I mean, I can't even find a place for it. I should have gotten Tack. I should have gotten Tack. Fuck. Okay, I couldn't even find a place for Arctic Wind in my deck, because it's just not that good, actually. It's really not. I think you just place two darts. That's what you do on this map. And I don't know if it's here or here, which was more efficient, here and here, or like inside the curve or outside the curve. I always like inside the curve, so that's how I play. Yes. Down here. So. I don't know, I like, I completely don't know that it will go strong. And also, like, Ninja Kiwi needs to change this, right? You know how the dart has to reach back to fire the stars? On, like, Pumpkin Patch? It will literally reach back, right? And then after it reaches back, it will hit the balloons behind it. Like, what the fuck? It's just stupid. And oh yeah, that, that, the nerf. We, we can really feel the dark monkey nerfs now, right? 330 to this shit. Um, yeah, I, I, I think we I should be booty coding. I should be sending him like bad pinks right now. Pinks will make him leak for sure. Like, there's no way he's defending pinks. There's just no way. You know you're facing a pull when they buy a fucking spicy pull for pinks. Am I right, guys? Am I fucking right? Holy shit, how is he defending this without leaking that many more lives? I'm gonna just get a chipper. I'm gonna get a chipper when I'm a noob, you know, cause, yeah. But that's what pros do, am I right? Am I right? You just buy a chipper everywhere. And you don't even think about shit. And that spike ball's gonna screw him over, cause it's gonna turn all those blacks into fucking pigs. And he's gonna green rush me, okay. This map is really intensive, and I might just lose to the dude, because I just... I was never good at indoor pools. I, I never liked indoor pools. A lot of pros like it. I, I'm just not. I just don't like this map. I mean, like, that just back screens. I keep finding myself anti-stalling on this map, because you kind of have to. You really have to anti-stall on pools, and I mean... Just mad defend, just mad defend all pools, that's my strategy, and hope you can kill them with a rush with minimum eco, because honestly, it's just so dangerous, especially when I don't have micro. 
I need to put my hand on the fucking keyboard. That's probably a good choice, honestly. And I need this um, drug right here. Oh yeah, and the natural less can screw you over on this map so hard. But you just have a drug here and here, maybe. And you just don't hit those natural less and you're screwed. You're screwed. Okay. I'm not a man to fend. Two farms is all I need. What? Two farms. Uh, anti greed strategy. Send him lead. Forces you buy it. So it looks like a noob. Look at those spots. The jug spot. And he, it's too good, right? It's too good. He buys fucking spike pulse. Does this guy not have jug or something? And, and then he gets a lizard. Hashtag troll. Oh, oh my god. I hate that. Energy. And then they need rush. Frick, frick, frick. The micro, like the, the placement. The placement. This map is broken. You can't place towers for shit. Why did his... Okay, I, I'm confused. Okay, as you can tell, guys, you can't place tower for shit on indoor pools. And this is why I like play on small screen. Like, I can't micro for shit. Did you see? My dart was in my hand. I couldn't place it. I was trying to put it back. But I couldn't do it. This is the freaking micro on indoor pools. It's just broken. I was going to put it back, sell my farms, just sell jobs. Try to do some things, or at least buy some triple dars or whatever, but no, I can't do that because I can't micro for crap on this map. And also, now you can um, click a hotkey when you're selecting a tower, they did that, but you can't swap hotkeys with a tower that's not yet placed in your hand. Why not? I hate Zen Garden. Like, I have no idea what to do on mobile in Zen Garden. Yeah, thanks for skipping that. Oh yeah, super job ball. I hate water hazard too. Okay, good. Park. I used to hate park, but now I'm okay with park, and I'll just go mob. I never. Oh, no dream. Forget ground zeros, but then again, that's what more ballers do. But then I don't even buy so many blue impacts. Just one specter or ground zero. Mm. Spectre is actually a freaking juicy, okay guys? It's not the crappiest tower in the universe like you, you guys, people make it out to be. Okay, it's not actually that shitty. And I don't know how I'm supposed to place this. I guess there would work. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it, I placed it badly. I'm gonna leak! Leaking lives! This isn't good. I'm gonna send him a bunch of balloons. And that's what you do, right, guys? And let's hope it, like, balances. Okay, I think that's a mad range. Um, um, no, going on. Okay, go on! Why are you still sending? You just send until I buy a triple bar. It's not how you play the game. First is still broken. MK, fix first. Holy shit. Just set things on close. Sometimes I want to set things on close, right? It makes it so they're hitting the things that are actually threatening. Maybe sometimes you should set things on strong, like, okay, like, uh, uh, mate, like, I wish the dart would just know how to do angle shots, right? You would shoot at an angle so you can hit this one even if that's out of range. I guess it's like the range of his sight or though, I guess. I guess he did have some logic there, but still. Um, yeah. Looney go with farms. Hashtag mixed eco 2 op Hashtag wish I had shipper right now, but I don't. And Larry should be able to get past this guy. Uh, no? Okay. Whatever. Buy it later, but. Guess not. Um, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, just keep ecoing. Just keep going eco. To make this guy's farm suck dick. Like, what are those fucking farms, man? Those are shit. You only have three farms. And I have 437 eco and I have a farm. The first farm, guys, just quick tip. The first farm is your easiest farm. So always start with the farm unless you want, like, a third tower spot. Just start with the farm. It'll make your life so much easier. The first farm is just way too easy. Honestly, you have those few seconds where you don't have to defend shit. 
and you just farm up, man. You just farm up in those few seconds. And look how quickly I'm catching up in farm. Freaking mix eco strats. Freaking uh, mix eco actually useful. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm only one farm behind at this point, and try have like a shit defense. You know I'm greedy. I'm greedy. See this? Okay, see this? See this? Mad skill. And just in case, camel lead, so I still gotta get this. Obviously. And he has the lead popping power, right? He has the lead popping power. So he's ahead of farm, but I still have that eco, right? The eco's not just for catching up on farms. The eco is also, well, freaking eco. So that should work. And I'm gonna buy triple darts. And I'm getting lots of money without max reading, which is also very helpful. I thought you could place like closer to the farm group. I guess. Oh, uh, probably just. No, I am not. Man. I still have like full max reading and shit. So I'll send him a camo lead. See what he sends us. Okay, I guess we can buy another farmer. Yeah, we got like 10 farmers in each one. The farmers are the only thing I actually spend the downs on anyway. A glaive war, okay. Oh yeah, we know a hack stuff. A hacker, right? When the glaive war first came out, people still thought it was like 9,000. Some people aren't smart enough yet. So like, they, they, everyone thought it was still 9,000, right? So he was like, oh, I'm a hacker. You should all fuck me. Surrender to me or you'll die. So, um. I don't tell him, show him I have bomb. I'm ready for the bomb, right? I'm ready for the bomb right now. So I'm ready to put down my bomb. Yeah, okay. Bomb. Fucking close. Right, and uh, uh, oh, frick off, man. The bomb sucks. Bomb sucks. Fuck. Okay. Can't micro on thief. You know how mad I am when I can't micro on Steam. The Steam is what's been messing me up. This isn't Steam. This is Windows 10. I know, but is what's been messing me up so hardcore lately. I just I can do it fine on mobile or on freaking small screen mode, but this is messing me up. Kid, did was it kidnap released like ten years ago? What? Kidnap is just released? Yeah, it's already here. What is it next week? I am so confused. I thought it was released for like a year. <laughs> well, not like a year, but you know, for a long time. And yeah, this is my deck right now. There's like, th this is the card I'm working for right now. That card. Right, for those blues and shit. I'm going to play a ceramic crucible right here. And yeah, I only have one deck, because, uh, why not? <laughs> I think I have multiple usable decks. But I yeah, 100% win rate. Improbable Waffle. So this guy's like, ISAP, lose 99% of your games. Okay. There's the phone ringing again. I want to make sure no one's looking for me. And yeah, this is the good one. I got rid of the 425 card. That card sucks, dick. I'm seriously, it's useful, but not enough. And why can't you use um, farmers in this? That's my question. Do you guys know that? Like, why the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't see this shit. I wasted money. I wasted money! Oh yeah, yesterday I couldn't find the farm for shit. Place it here with stall, right? It's stall? Fuck, what the what? The tower's not frozen. Okay, cool. Stall. Why was the tower frozen though? Why can't I like, drag it around? I usually don't even drag, I usually click click, but whatever, dragging is fun too. And the blue rush, like, oh, what is he doing? Oh, fuck you, I hate you. Okay, he's actually gonna try. This guy's so bad, I like playing actual good players. This placement is kinda anti stall but it's cards, so like, no one cares. Right? No one farms on cards until later in the game. So what do you wanna send me? Oh, this guy's just energy. I think he's a troll. Or maybe he's just that bad. Maybe he's just that bad at the game. Or he has no physical or mental idea of what the fuck he's doing. 
so bad here, dude. Good, I'm kind of sold. <laughs> I almost sold to the big useful guard allies. It's been a long time. It's been so long, and we got so far. But I might be only ones that far instead of far. So like far. Oh no, it's good. Oh yeah, no. Something else, it's like. I, I, how many people got that easy of a song to remember? I mean. And we got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. I don't know. 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 I don't even remember what the fucking round to buy this shit on. And it could have microed my farms, right? Like in the last game, I'm actually so mad. This is salty. At least you can hold it in your hand and you buy it. The fact that the monkey farm is not fucking released is still making me think though. Like, why? Why is it on one game mode but not on the other? When the farms are in both games. Watch this guy, nice golden shark. Nice golden shark right there. Afraid you won't ever get it again, so you get it so early. I don't even know where to put a laser gun on this map. This is like a swamp. Does anyone know where to put a laser gun on this map? That's my question. Holy shit, I just put it like. Do you put it like. Wait, no, wait, he's right. Yeah, that's a decent spot. Okay, there you go. The camel rush. Get wasted, son. Get wasted! Get wasted by the laser cannon. Holy shit. This guy's so wasted. Boom. The zebra rush is broken. Zebra rush is so broken. Zebra rush is too broken. This rush is still somehow staying in the meta after so long. I mean, this rush is just so good. It's way, it's like sheer quantity of the balloons. They're nothing special, it's just zebra, but that sheer quantity, man. The sheer quantity kills a guy. I don't know how I can possibly make this deck better. Honestly, this is so good. I don't even know if I put this on my deck. The only pure eco card is this one, so that's a lot. This one's a lot more efficient. A lot. So let's compare this to this. This one's only 12 eco for 200. So doing some simple math, it will be 18 at 300. So this is slightly more efficient than this. Which is surprising, because this was the old most efficient, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely the most efficient. Well, that and uh, the dart was close, but I, don't, I think this is the most efficient. This is going to be more efficient, so I guess I might replace this. But then again, this is a higher quantity of eco. But yeah, this one's so much cheaper. I don't know if I ever add a power card. Like, Kidnap would be fun on Bonanza or something. Juggerlanch and uh, Bounty. Like, I don't even care. I was going to grind a Bounty, but I wouldn't even use it, really. Like, why, how would I use the Bounty? What is it even good for? I put the Bounty instead of maybe the... Um, I need a Jug. Oh, then, then yeah, I can just use my Sabro. I need this card for sure. This card is broken as fuck. Okay, if you look at this card, right? These, this card, and okay, let me just put it on tower cost. No, you know what balloon cost? Yeah, we need balloon cost right now. Tower type, so. Tower cost, balloon cost, so that's what we need. No, balloon type. Let's just sort by balloon type. Usually I do tower cost, but this is easier. So those rushes, right? Those rushes, 10 for 10,000 or 6 for 10,000, no eco down. This one's a pretty good rush, and this one's because of the tower. Now, you know, this car, that rush is way more efficient than this rush for 25 less eco. I like the 
the the the four Moab's pretty sexy, right? Plus twenty eco, twenty eco, very useful. Am I right? Am I am I right? So juicy, right, guys? This thing is thirty. This thing is twenty five eco. This thing fucking gives ten eco because it's shit. And uh, this one gives twenty eco. Yeah, it just shows how efficient this card is and that that dark man, that thing is so efficient. But like yeah, I mean but this one isn't deadly. But here's the thing. You pop this one with like two laser cannons energy or ground zero, right? This one is the exact same. It's cheaper. Which is why this one's so bad. Which is why this one's actually pretty good. I mean the zero eco and the, t the tower, even without the tower, is still a little bit useful because of the fact that, well, I mean, I mean, like, here's the thing. This one is, like, the same, basically, because a nuke or two laser cannons energy, it's all way more pierce than 10. So then it's kind of wasting it in a fashion if you don't use all of it, if you get what that means. So popping 6 and popping 10 is not that different. Sure, this one's a little bit stronger, but not that much. Which why this one's so good because it's cheaper. But then here's the thing. You're greatly decreasing your eco, at least compared to these ones. And the amount of gain you're getting is not enough. A nuke. So let's pull up a calculator real quick. Calculator. I don't need the calculator, but I like it for proof. And let's just, um, let's open up, let's see, battles and small screen it. Here we go, the large screen. Let's pull up the calculator real quick right here. Okay, so 80%, so what you do, what I like to do with percentages is I just take the price, okay. 16,500, I need to make sure it's not nerfed anymore. Times 100. So that's what you get a hundred times, and then divide that by eighty. So we can fail, 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 fail. fail. Okay, times by eighty divided by a hundred. Right, I'm not getting my logic right right now. Um, so percentage. So uh, let's just do this, okay? Five hundred divided by a hundred. So 165, I, yeah, that's easy math, but I want to show you guys how this works. So if I multiply each percentage by 80, we get 13,000. So if we, 200, okay. Minus 13,200, that gives us $3,300 lost to defend 7,500. As you can tell, 3,300. So we're getting about um, under half, under half of it. The Russian catch people off guard, but let, let's see what's the price of two laser cannons. So that's 10,500, right? Yeah, that's 10,500. Let's just, ah, 10,500 with energy that can defend as well. And that's 10,500 plus energy. If you bait out the energy, it's going to take even more, right? The problem with that logic is, well, you have to bait out their energy first, and they usually have already one laser cannon. So what you're doing is buying one laser cannon, or since everyone already has a laser cannon, you could also buy a sabotage. So sabo. So you eight, right? No, eight eighty. So eighty times eighty. So you're losing about sixteen hundred. So let's just confirm that real quick. Oh my god. What? What C does? Okay. Thousand minus whatever it was. Uh, not one. Frick! 8,000 minus. Okay, let's do some C look in here. 
Okay, um, um, I'm, 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 I'm being an idiot right now, so what is this shit? I thought C resets everything. Okay, <laughs> well, let's make this, like, not that, oh my god. C E reset everything. Multiply by A T equal. What the fuck? How do I reset this thing? Can I freaking reset this shit? C. C. Okay, 80. By 80, that's that. Okay. 8,000 divide 6. Okay, C, C, C. C, 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 okay. 8,000 minus 6400. This is just for confirmation. 1600. So you're losing 1600 on that sabotage. If you have a laser cannon and energy, or what we do here is you sabotage, you sell it, you buy another laser cannon. That costs a grand total of 6,850. So you have two options. One is a huge profit. One is still a money increase. So that just shows right there that it it might be good. It might be decently good, but it's far from being like a god rush. It could be a metal rush because metal just means it's used by a lot, but it's definitely not an actual good, viable in all conditions type of rush, right? Right, so what I mean, like, yeah, but you could say Chris was right because he said a meta rush. But here's the thing what he said was, is basically whoever sends out this first wins. That's what the meta is. That is not true. That is not true. And he said, like, no one can counter. That might have been, been true, but that means he's not facing good players. You know what is a really good rush? And I'm not even saying meta. This time is because nobody uses this rush except me. This rush right here. Cripple Moab sends out four BFBs. This card is good late game. It's good late game with Ray of Doom. Because, you know, you just stole those ELMGs. Ray of Doom is really good with some BFBs and Moabs. They just die. They just shrivel up with this combo, right? But, 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 you know, oh my god, there's a hard part. So you just stall that layer, and eventually you'll pop it. And this does 18 damage, which is decent, because the Moab only has 4,000 health. So, with this card right here, that's minus only 100 eco. So, half the eco minus, same round send. Notice, round 19 send, and it's much more effective. So it's really good compare rushes. So let's just compare a lot of cards real quick. This card, wait, is bad. First of all, it is it's just not good when compared to this card. Sure, it can have some cheap lead popping power, but we already have the wizard for that. And you kind of need the wizard because it's just so much. It's just so good. So much bang for your buck. So. This card is useless because it sends out less reds. You could pair them together, but honestly, Spike Factory is more efficient than both of them. So just that and that with that and that, that's all you need. You don't need that enough. This card is absolute shit because when you compare it to that, and like the, 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 the dower part is just not valuable enough. That's when they try to nerf something to make it good. Ninja, I see a lot of people using the ninja. Let's try comparing that to the engineer. A little more balloons, some more eco, but double the price. So that's like increasing 50% for double, and the tower itself is not even as good. The tower is way worse because a 1-1 one -one ninja cannot even deal with space balloons. It's equal to about, a 1-1 one -one ninja is like a century. That's what it's worth because it has like no pierce. But even if we take pierce completely out only for space balloons, two centuries defeats it or a century and an engineer. 
and you are guaranteed to have at least two centuries and an engineer, or three centuries and an engineer. So this heart is completely wasted, even just for eco. Like it could be useful for late game attempts, but in actual games, completely wasted card. Same thing with this card. If you just compare it to, say, this card. This card is a, lo a little bit more expensive, but about double, right? This is less than double the price for basically double the payment. And yeah, I mean, like the number of blues like just cancels out. This card is more useful because it can pop lead and just does more damage overall. And the balloon scent is just more valuable. This one can be used with it, but usually you have enough eco, so this is not completely wasted, but not very useful. Zero zero banana farm is wasted because of the two zero banana farm. If it was one zero and a little bit more expensive, it would have been useful, but zero zero is bad. And for the balloon rush, let's compare it to the tack. It's almost double the price for almost double the profit. So this is a decent card, but because, see, tack, rush, you only use the tack for the freaking tower, and the balloon scent are good. Just the balloon scent is not as valuable, so it's decent. This card is good. It's pretty good. It's a nice 24 to 1 I mean, the higher the number, usually the lower the ratio. But when compared to the laser cannon, it's pretty similar. So this is a good card, but and it can catch people off guard and kill a lot of people. But yeah, this is just good, but not the best. This card is really good. I mean, when compared to the tag, its eco portion is not as good as, say, this one, because it's almost double the price for not nearly double the... Um, outcome it's only 50% more but you know the triple dart is useful but I don't even use the other triple dart anymore mainly because it's just not powerful the triple dart for 750 is not powerful when compared to an engineer for 800 now if we go on to here actually no we just need to do this so uh, 450 for an engineer Plus 500 for a century. That's 950. And, um, okay, 950. Okay, cool. 950. Now 200. Okay, what was it? I completely forget. Okay, 200 plus 120 plus 140 plus. Wait up, guys. I need to answer something. Andrew's dad always forgets that I'm not Andrew. So you're getting a far larger discount, a slightly larger discount on the sentry gun, and the sentry gun is just a really good thing, but the only reason dart is way more popular in classic is because of the other upgrades are useful, where the, the other upgrades on NG kind of suck, so yeah, that's why. And the NG is overall a pretty good card though, just saying, it's a pretty good card. And yeah, this card is good, but I just don't like it enough. I don't feel like it's valuable enough. So this is good. It's like in the same way as the Boomer. These cards, I don't have them. They're kind of hard to look at. Yeah. And they don't look the best. I mean, the tower part isn't really good. So I don't expect the balloons to be that useful enough. And you have the artillery battery. I mean, 7,000 for artillery. That's good. But, I, I don't know. It might be good. These ones, I don't think so at all. Because 1,400 for 55. I mean, three of these is less and way more. And there's also more yellows. So, I'm wasted. This one's good, though. It's a little more expensive for a little more eco, but more yellows. So, I guess this one's valuable. But then again, Monkey Village is way more worth it than um, Sharp Shurikens. So these cards are okay. This card is shit. And this card? 
Um, this card is good. This card is pretty good too. So yeah, those are some decent eco cards. Um, flash bomb is shit. Cause what a flash bomb is, basically, I mean like, it's just like not very much eco. The rush is mediocre at best. I'd much rather do this cause it's almost double the price for just a little bit more. And flash bomb as a tower just isn't good when you compare it to some other towers. I mean, like, Sabo is a much better deal than a flash bomb where you can run a laser cannon. Something of a similar price would be a, a jug. A jug is even cheaper and does better because of its increased pop length and the fact that it's just more useful overall against rushes. Next up, Cluster Bomb is a good card because of pinks. Pinks are deadly and Cluster Bomb can be useful. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, the Eco portion, not the best. You can do better with Eco wise. But the Rush, is, as a Rush, it's really good for harassment and it's very useful in general. I mean, honestly. Look at that. I mean, it's way not enough Eco, but it's still good. Frag Bombs is also good. It's just good. It's actually no, it's like it's a little good. I guess this one is shit. Okay. I don't know why Candy Sun likes it. This is just better than this. The boost of two centuries compared to boosting a, a full another tower plus, you know, the difference. The upgrade is worth about I guess it's two one, but it's still not valuable. Like zero ones where the one comes in or the one one. Since the the one on the right does not affect sentries, it's just not as valuable. And I much highly favor this. The cannons, the same eco and ten pinks. Ten more pinks is all this does, so it's just not valuable. Farm, you can see why I have it in my deck. It's a really good card. It's just really good. And Cannon ship is shit, cuz, come on, you're sending the same amount of pink. Group pinks is actually might be hurting you more than helping. Cuz the, the, the thing with group pinks is they're grouped, so they're all together and they come at once. And after you defeat it, it's done. This is constant harassment. And your towers are gonna mess up targeting and that's what it's used for. 40 group pinks is just nothing. Black rushes can be useful on pools. That's about it. <laughs> um, this this the, this guy's uh, shit. This guy's shit. Um, uh, that that's gonna kill someone. I mean, the phoenix looks better than that, cause at least camo is something they're gonna have a problem with, right? Snap freeze is usable, cause you know whites can be kind of damaging. Except round seven though, that's kind of late. But yeah, whites can be damaging, but for the eco, like it's just not good compared to a spike factory or this thing, the guy throw. It can be kind of useful. This one's shit. This one's shit. It's the actual piece of shit. Like Super Dot Mom says this thing's pretty OP. It's really not. It's really not. I mean, laser cam is better than it. Laser cannon is better because you can aim it and you can hit them constantly. The, the Glaive Ward is bad, okay? Glaive Ward is bad in regular bouts and card. It's because, like, it's just hitting a very small area. It's just not valuable enough. You'd rather have this Ring of Fire combo than have a Glaive Ward. Bloom Trap, you know, the White Rush can be deadly, so it's good. Shit, shit, good. This Orja, you need some sort of Camelot popping power. Um, this is kind of pretty shit. I mean, this, I, uh, I'll say this one's actually decent. This one's good. This one's good. You know what? Blue Jitsu 5000? Yeah, it's good. I just don't use it. Shit. Shit. Really shit, this one. Shit. This one's oh, good if you have, like, a good reactor spot. So, say, maybe, um, or was it Ice Flow? This one's okay. This one's good, I guess. It's good, but like after you know you start using the NG and the bow and the and the uh, where is it? The tack. It's just 
It's like the worst starting tower, cause and the zebra was not good to kill people with. You much rather use the one after it. So yeah, it's like decent, but the the thing is, it's just outclassed. Cause early game you're spending too much money for that triple dart. This one's amazing. I mean, it's pretty OP. This one's actually really good, cause it can catch you off guard. It's like the twin brother to this rush. It's like it seems way worse, cause you know it's so much less. But this is more for the people that have very little amount of camo. I used to throw in this card just for it, but then I realized, you know what? What if I sell my towers and just buy a laser cannon? And just keep that laser cannon for everything. Okay, so this one's shit, this one's shit, and um, this one's shit, and this one's shit, and this one's shit. And this one is okay. I think. No, this one's... Yeah, this is the Spectre Rush is okay too, but this one's shit, because three regen rainbows is definitely going to kill someone. Um, five regen rainbows is also going to kill someone for sure. I mean, twelve against the non camo users is useful. Um, yes, uh, seven, um, ten regen rainbows is definitely gonna kill people. I mean, the eco is okay, but it's not good enough just for eco, and it doesn't have fucking signal flare. So what's the point? This one is, I guess, no, maybe okay, maybe has some sort of usage, but yeah, unlocks, I mean, like, the tower portion is just so shit. This one's good, because Ring of Fire is good, except the Boon Sun kind of shit, so this one's uh, decent, I guess, shit, no, this one's shit, this one's decent, this one's shit, this one's good, I mean, the tower's good. Temple sack if you're using temples and it's called late game because I have the 90% of the time against good players. And you know, 12 regen rainbows, I'd rather have that than 18 regular rainbows because regrow farming. But I still don't recommend using it because everyone uses laser cannon or jugger latch. This one's amazing. Um, that can catch people off guard, but it's mainly for the tower portion, just slow, slow. So it's good. This one's shit because four ceramics isn't gonna do shit. Force Ramses really isn't gonna do shit. This one's also pretty shit. Cause five ceramics before more expensive. And the tower shit. These all these towers are shit. This one's decent, I guess. Yeah, this one's decent, but this one's shit. I mean, are you kidding me? Downdraft is shit. I don't know why Super John Mambo likes it, it's shit. And, uh, yeah, I'm saying shit so much. And, uh, fucking five ceramics camo. This one is so much better. It's another ceramic, and they're regrow, and it's just a little more expensive. And the tower is usable. Okay, this is just better than all of these. This one is exponentially worse, as you can tell. It's more expensive, and it's less. They're grouped, but being grouped actually makes it hurts it. Because they just deal with it all at once. And come on, four group? When you group four things, it's not much of a group. You have to, if you group 20 things, that's a huge cluster. If you group two things, like you'd rather have just one and one, right? That's what I think. One more. This one's good. This one's good on those other maps, you know? On those maps where you might struggle a bit, this one's good. Because, like, indoor pools, ink bot, you just send this thing out at them. They're not prepared for it. It's kind of expensive, but if they're not prepared for it, and you can use it on your side to defend against those maps, that, that can do some damage. This one's pretty bad. I don't know why people use it. This one's good. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. I said it's not, like, unbeatable, but it's good. These two are both good. This one for the rush, this one for the rush, and the tower, mainly the tower. This one's bad. I mean, no, this this one's this one's decent. It could be usable in situations, but not really when compared to other towers here. This one, this one is good. I mean, no, this one's decent. It's not good. I mean, it can be used in situations. These are two are both decent. This can be used in situations sometimes, and... But here's the thing, the fan club isn't going to do shit unless you already have dart monkeys. And if you don't, it's just useless. 
And now he's over the rush, which is outclassed by others, which is brings us to the god. This thing is meta. This is one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. This one is a god tier, okay? There's a few god tier ones that aren't just support, like Spike Factory. So, god tier, god tier, god tier, god tier, god tier. You need this thing, you need this thing, you need this, 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 this. The thing make decks work. They're all late game cards. Because that's what late game is. And this one's god tier. All everything in my deck is god tier, except the jug. The jug is just decent. Everything else is fucking god tier, because that's how you make a deck. That's how you make a deck. You need to use god tier cards. So why is this god tier, you ask? First of all, it unlocks on round not nineteen. So this is already a step up. This one's an extra BFB for more expensive, but it would be 10,000 if this was four, if you imagine it that way. So this one's a little bit better on that as well. Now you might see this one's screw, but this one's space. But here's the thing, negative 100 eco compared to 300. So that edges that out again. So this one's better in a lot of ways. And the tower is also more useful because you need dars for this one to even work properly. And this one just stuns Moabs. I mean, that's useful. And here's the thing. Space is actually better than group. So if you're earlier, you're cheaper, and you're better. Because you're... And you're more, so yeah. So if, because it's spaced, after they nuke, like on the first Moabs, if they blop it fast, they're going to nuke, and then Moabs are going to come out, and they're going to have to nuke again, or defend those Moabs with energy, or they're going to panic okay so because there's space the last one's gonna be at the end of the track on a shorter map or if they pop it it's gonna be at the end of the track so you need to deal with that and then when you do that the rest are still coming out if you understand what i mean basically what i'm saying is you're not gonna finish popping it you have to use your like win condition your defense condition against the rush before the rush finishes. So there's going to be more of the rush coming. So this is just completely dunks this. And every other BFB rush. And every Moab rush as well. It dunks all of them. First of all, round 19, 21, 21, 21. This thing gets completely dunked. Because way more um, efficient. Less eco loss. Even like, and this one's only one. This is way less eco loss. And this is more effective in general. So it's cheaper more better better tower and a better call and less eco yeah these ones more more damage these are around 19 that's your advantage okay more, i do more damage in all of these the, this pops into a total of 16 sure they can try to counter rush you but if you have good defense considering this is only minus 100 eco i mean it just dunks all of these it dunks all of these it dunks this one too, cause seven BFBs, eight hundred minus eco, right? And it's two rounds later. Two rounds is a lot, and it's seven, but it's grouped, so I guess that like cancels out the price difference. But this one's still earlier, so get dunked. This one is less minus eco, but well, it's only one more, and it's so much more expensive. Dunk that way. You see how it just keeps dunking these guys from different directions. And it dunks both of the towers. These are useful, but this one's actually supportive and more useful. Dunk, dunk, dunked, dunked. See how this thing just dunks all of these? And not the Moai Mauler, because Moai Mauler is still useful. And this one, I mean, it's too expensive, so get dunked. I mean, it's about the same value, but this one's later and... You know, when something's more expensive, and when it's grouped again, you pop them all at once, so... Dong, kind of. This one's useful and really late game, but in general, it gets wrecked. This one is good for that one ZOMG and um, factory, but it's just not that good. I mean, this one's way more efficient than this one, but the thing is, you just stall the ZOMG. I mean, this is way faster than this, and th but this was way faster than that. But this one, you just don't have time to react. That's the main problem. This one, you can legit fucking stall. And again, more eco loss. 
And and the fact is, when you send out the OMG, they're just they're just that two round difference. So they cancel out. Bang! We still dunk it a little, but this one's useful. So it's kind of like canceled out. This one's really good, but this one I think is slightly better. Overclock. Two the OMGs, eleven thousand minus two thousand eco. Unless you're going full on farms, which is not gonna work, cause you need some sort of e you need eco. Eco just outclasses farms in general. You need like mixed. You should have mixed, but eco outclasses farms, so that's not going to work out for you. The two ZOMGs isn't, and they they're just gonna sell and stall, and the tower kind of sucks. So it gets outclassed by this one, so it gets dunked by this one, and yeah, so it's just better. Ray of Doom is good. Ray of Doom is got here as well. So these are like I consider these ones like equals. This one's more of your win condition, and this one's later on trying to do some more things. This one's more for late game if they defeat this or they find a way against you using this. Then this one comes into play. This is like big bro, but this one's like later on because it's too much, right? So thirty thousand. So that's a lot more expensive, but way more valuable as you can see. Five ZOMGs really valuable minus 1800 eco doesn't matter because it's late enough in the game where you have enough eco to send this and then round 21 doesn't matter because five zomgs that's a good quantity that's enough this one's more efficient technically but the you're minusing more eco for less balloons, so yeah and the tower is amazing too. So these are like god tier brothers. And this one's shit. The temple is shit unless you're playing on the NASA or, you know, Battle Park. Max out and you just do a temple deck. Because you're, you're gonna defend everything. It's too easy. Card battles, it's too easy. And yeah, Temple of the Monkey God, I mean, is not nearly as efficient. Over three times the price for not even close to, not even three times the the balloon so that's automatically out and i guess the freaking eco is more efficient considering it gets more balloons but that's not nearly enough i mean you're late game already and the tower like the sun the temple of the monkey god you're not getting that late usually so this one's decent or no this one's good because all late game cards are good Unless they're completely outclassed by another one. Basically, most of the late game cards get outclassed by either this one or this one. Just dunks them all down. So, yeah. That's what happens. That's, this entire third row. These entire rows, right? So, for, like, these three rows are all just dominated by these two cards. Power cards, I don't know. I haven't used them yet. These, all of this is outclassed by this and this i guess and this is usable but these two are the main one um these this section completely outclassed by this guy this section just completely outclassed by these two and this section just outclassed by all the good eco cards so yeah that's gonna be all for today guys take care y'all goodbye